For consumers here in Korea, the wait is over. Apple's newest iPhone is now on sale at retailers across the country. Apple's expected to get an enormous boost due to the demise of Samsung's Galaxy Note 7, which has left a huge hole in the market. Our Kim Min-ji has this story. It's the newest player on the market. Apple's iPhone 7 and 7 Plus hit the shelves in Korea on this Friday. The models, which boast features such as wireless earphones and a much improved camera, are available at retailers nationwide. Some Apple fans queued up for days to be the first in Korea to get their hands on the latest iPhone. I waited in line for four days. I think Apple is the best when it comes to functions, and I really like the new black color. It feels so real. The new series comes in five colors and carries a price tag of roughly 770 U.S. dollars for the iPhone 7 and 900 dollars for the 7 Plus. Reflecting the popularity of the new models, pre-orders were at more than double that of the iPhone 6 line. Because Apple releases a new major phone every two years, there's usually a lot of interest in the next series. On top of that, the termination of the Note 7 and new features, like water resistance, are grabbing the attention of consumers. Apple stands to potentially be one of the biggest beneficiaries of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 debacle, as both companies compete in the high-end smartphone market. Market watchers say without a viable substitute for the Note 7, more consumers may turn to Apple's latest release. People are moving to the Plus series, so the 7S Plus, the 7 Plus, or the 6S Plus, and we're going to see HTC and Huawei and Lenovo pick up business. With that, Apple could get a bump in its global smartphone market share. Samsung held number one in the second quarter at over 22 percent, followed by Apple at about 12 percent. With future sales of the Note 7 wiped out, Apple is expected to see additional sales of about 10 million units. That also means it's the only new smartphone in the high-end market. Down the line, while Samsung is expected to stay on top in terms of overall market share thanks to its budget lineup, analysts say Apple will likely take the lead in the high-end sector until Samsung's next release proves to be safe and comes with eye-catching features. Kim Min-ji. Arirang News.